Hello everyone, my name is Ritika Dukanya and today I'll be giving you a tour of the DMAP system. DMAP stands for Data Mining and Automation for Platforms and is created by Parang Saraf, a computer science PhD student from Virginia Tech. Let me begin by answering, what is DMAP? DMAP is a system for aggregating official information about a company from wide range of data sources, including news sources, official company blogs, official Twitter and Facebook handles. It presents the data in an intuitive manner so that it is easy for analysts to browse and analyze the news articles. Without further delay, let me walk you through the system interface. System is currently hosted at this address and it is designed to work best with Google Chrome. You will start by creating an account for yourself. Enter your first name, last name, email address, username, password and click create account. Once the system administrator approves your account, you can log in by entering your credentials. Upon login, you will see an almost empty screen with a few control items. Please note that there are three menu items, Ravens, Horse's Mouth and Gossipers. We will walk through each of these menu items. You will start by selecting a few companies. Let's say you pick Didi Dashe, London Taxi and Uber and press Submit. Doing so will load up the data for the Ravens menu. This menu shows articles from different news sources about the selected companies. On the left side, you see the list of news articles for these three selected companies. The list shows the news headline, images, news sources, publication date and the top two sentences. You can click next to move to the next page. The pane on the right has two divisions. The top division shows a Google search trend for these three companies over the last 10 years. Looking at this data can give clear indications of the time durations when something big or important was happening for these companies. For example, for Uber, these peaks correspond to the various funding rounds. So based on this information, you can limit your search results for only this duration to get more insider information. The pane on the bottom is an interesting one. This one shows the word clouds of the most mentioned people, organizations, locations and products in these 430 news articles. So just to explain this further, let's focus now only on the people's word cloud. The system scans these 430 news articles and identifies all the people mentioned in these articles. The word cloud shows the top 50 most mentioned names. So these people in all probability will be executive officers or spokespersons for the selected companies. We do a similar exercise to identify the top 50 organizations, locations and products. Please note that these word clouds are dynamically generated. Meaning, if you select a different search query, you will get a different set of word clouds. Now, let's click on a news article. Clicking on the news article opens the detailed view of the story. Here you can read the full article. These highlighted words correspond to people's names, locations, organizations and products. Please note that the word clouds down below get updated. Now they are showing the names of the people, organizations, locations and products mentioned only in this particular news story. So that just by looking at these clouds you can get an idea what the article is talking about. Further, you can click the blue link here to open the article on the original website. Now let's move to the horse's mouth menu. Please note that your list of selected companies is preserved so that you don't have to query again. Now this menu shows articles from the official blogs of these companies. As you can see, all these articles are from the official blogs. On the right, you see the same Google keywords search trends. On the bottom, you see the word clouds generated only from these 17 news articles. Once again, clicking on any of these articles open the detail view where you can read the article in further detail. 
these word clouds get updated to reflect the entities from only this article and you can also click the blue link to get to the original blog post. Now moving on to gossiper section. This section shows the posts from the official Twitter and Facebook accounts for these companies. You can click next to navigate through individual Twitter and Facebook feeds. You can also click the play button to play the media file associated with the posts. Please note that the biggest advantage of this interface is the fact that you can truly personalize your feeds. You can select any set of companies and will be able to see the feeds for only those. Lastly, if you want to change your password, you can do so by following the change password link on the top right. And to log out of the system, just press log out. We hope that you like this tour of the DMAP system and you will have fun interacting with the system. If you have any queries or feedback, Please feel free to get in touch by sending an email to parang at vt.edu. Thank you.